beloved Archons and Archons elect, today we come together in this virtual reality for the first time as the annual meeting order of St. Andrew the Apostle. I'm sorry that I will not be able to be with you in person. As you all may be aware, I will be serving a pastoral mission in Maryland for the final rites of your late brother, Archon Megas Logothetis, Paul Sarbanes. We are praying for him as we are praying for all those Archons who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. May the memory of all the fallen brethren of the Order of St. Andrew be eternal. It is tradition and a noble tradition that as Archbishop of America and Exarch of the Ecumenical Throne, I have the joy to exhort you, the Archons elect, as you begin this amazing journey with this elite brotherhood of the Mother Church of Constantinople. Each of you has been nominated and selected because of your innate and indeed express love and devotion for the Ecumenical Patriarchate and the sacred person of His All Holiness our Patriarch Bartholomew. You cannot separate the See of St. Andrew from the successor of St. Andrew. The only difference is while the latter abides for a time, the former is timeless and abides forever. As you take upon yourself the mantle and name of Archon of the Great Church of Christ, please know that it is Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew himself who has personally chosen each Ophikion for you. Your title is neither random nor arbitrary. There is a purpose in your naming as an Archon, a purpose that may take a lifetime to understand, but it is always with you. Your holy association of St. Andrew is a well-ordered and disciplined organ of the Church that serves many needs and in many capacities. I ask that you look to your national commander, Archon Actuarius, Dr. Anthony Limberakis, and all the members of the National Council. They will guide you and be your mentors as you acclimate to this holy and sacred mission. And of course, you always have the spiritual advisor of the order, Proto-Presbyter of the Ecumenical Throne, Father Alexander Carluchos. His life has been one of extraordinary service to the Mother Church and to the sacred person of His All Holiness, our Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew. And you can always rely on Father Alex to steer you in the right direction. You already know many of the challenges we face. The illicit seizure this past summer of Hagia Sophia is a deep and painful wound, not only for us, but for all Christians, and indeed for all people of faith and goodwill. And you will learn of many more difficulties that we face daily, made all the more strenuous by the pandemic that we pray will abate in the coming new year. I know that you are worthy of the tasks ahead and that you accept these challenges with courage and faith. Therefore, beloved Archons elect, as you prepare to receive this very special cross of the Lord and this vocation to be defenders of the Mother Church of Constantinople, I exhort you in all seriousness and sincerity. Pray earnestly in your hearts that God may find you worthy of this honor. Hope with all your hearts for the success of your labors and for the full and complete spiritual mission 
of the ecumenical patriarchy. Work for the freedom of the mother church in all her affairs, and especially for the free operation once again of the theological school of Halki. Believe and trust in God's mercy that he has chosen you, chosen you to fulfill his will in your lives and together with your brother Archons, you may fulfill his will in the church and in the world. The glory of his holy name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, through the prayers of the Theotokos and the first called Andrew, Amen. May God bless you all. Kalachristugena.